Hello, my dear friend. Somebody asked me a terrific question. Why is it the beginning of a Sefer by Midbar, the first two and a half parshas, everything is positive, everything's on the upswing. The Chumash describes how the Jewish people were leaving Har Sinai from receiving the Torah, and then they built a Mishkan, and now they were po poised to enter Eretz Yisrael, and they were about to enter Eretz Yisrael in the next few days. And they, the Torah describes how they traveled, and each Shevet had its role, and they and they had their formation. And the, and the Torah describes the, the responsibilities of the Shevet of, 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 the, of, of the Shevet Levi, and the the, the different groups in the Shevet and the Kohenim and the Levim and, 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 and it was Al Hashem Yachnu Al Hashem Yisrael they were traveling according to the word of Hashem and there was an Amud Anan Amud Eish there was in the daytime there was a there was a there was a heavenly cloud and in the night there was a pillar of fire and, and then Yisrael came to, to join the Jewish people and it was it, it, they were they were triumphantly marching about to enter Eretz Yisrael and then and the Torah says by Yibin Saharan and then it describes how Moshe Rabbeinu would carry the, the Aaron and, and the enemies would disperse everything is, is as they say in Yiddish Gavaldic everything is terrific and then all of a sudden in the middle of Parshas Balgosa and Balgosa by the way the word the name of the Parshas Balgosa Balgosa means when you're when you elevate yourself to, to, to light the menorah, and that's, that was, it, it, it describes the, 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 the mood and, and, and the transformation that was taking place, that the people were going, they were elevated, and they were, they, they were going from becoming slaves to becoming great people, the Am Hashem, the, the chosen people, the Am HaNifchar, and, and everything was Baha'u'llah, they were, they were all, all because, they, they, they were growing religiously, and all of a sudden, in the middle of Baha'u'llah, wow, Everything changes around dramatically. To, to complete transformation. Everything is negative. Everything is bad. You have the the Mason and the people that complain, and then they complained about the traveling. And then there was a Makayfa. There was a plague, and people died. Then you have the the of the 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 the, the, the the rabble rousers and they they made a whole tumult and the people were crying why did we have to leave mid mitzrayim and they were be complained about the man they tired of the man all we eat is man man in the morning man in the evening and they complained about that they didn't have meat to eat and hashem got angry at them and he and he gave them meat to eat he gave them the slav and they ate so much meat that it came out of their noses and they, the thousands of people died in a, in a, in a magefa and moshe is exasperated he can't handle such people all they do is they fetch and they complain and they're negative and he says to Akadosh Baruch Hu, why did you appoint me in Gamhari also why did you do bad to me to put me in charge of the people and then he says, if, if this is going to be my responsibility, you might as well kill me. That's Moshe Rabbeinu. Unbelievable. And then the end of the parsha of Balgosla, so then Miriam and Aaron, Moshe Rabbeinu's own brother and sister, they attack Moshe Rabbeinu. And they, and they speak Lashon Har about him. And, and, and Miriam is severely punished. She becomes a Mitzorah. She, she has this skin affliction. So it's just everything is going south. And then comes Parsha Shlach, and and you think maybe things are going to change now. They send Miraga and the spies to Eretz Yisrael. You think that oh, they're going to see how 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 wonderful Eretz Yisrael can be, and they, and, and how appreciative it will be. And instead, the Kolov and Yeshua they come back with a positive report, and they say, oh, well, now we could go up, but the but the rest of Miraga they sway the whole entire nation. And the people were crying in the outside, inside their tents, and they said, "It's terrible. Look what God is doing to us. He's destroying us, and He's bringing us to this terrible place because the people there were giants there, and people were dying all the time, and even the fruit was it was huge and gigantic. It's a, um, we're never going to be able to conquer such a land." And and the Miragim said, "Lo nala," and that became the new motto of the people: "Lo nala, we can't do it." And 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 it says, so then, Hakadosh Baruch Hu made a decree that everybody. That came out of Mitzrayim, that, that, that was under over twenty years old. They would all perish in the desert. They would they'd be destined to wander aimlessly without accomplishing anything, no purpose in life, just to go from one. Torah describes all the different camps that they had. They went here and they went there. But what they accomplished? Nothing. What they built? Nothing. They just traveled through the desert for forty years. Here, these are the people that went out of Mitzrayim. There was so much potential, and it was all. All lost, and then there was a group of people that that, that staged another rebellion, and they said, "We're going to go back. We're going to go to Eretz Yisrael anyway." And then Moshe Sabrina says, "Don't don't rebel against the Shem," and they they died in the plague. Then comes after Parshas Shlach, what comes next? Then comes Parshas Korach. Korach is another rebellion. It's not enough that they had the rebellion at the time of the Miragim. 
Korach stages Rebayan, and he and he bring and he also he influences other people. He has a whole entourage of people, and they stage a Rebayan against Moshe and Aaron. They said it's nepotism that they took the the, the all all the best positions for themselves. And again, there's there's the the there's, the people die. Korach and his entourage get swallowed by the earth, and then there was the. The people that the, the from Shevet Ruvain they brought a sacrifice. Moshe said they should bring incense, and, and a fire came down and consumed them. So it's just everything is it's just terrible. It's just one tragedy after another tragedy. After that, in the next parsha, you have parshas Chukas. So at least Moshe Rabbeinu, he himself, the people who are destined to, to perish in the desert, but Moshe Rabbeinu will lead the Jewish people. When they go into Eretz Yisrael, finally, but what happens? He also can't. He, the same way the people had to die in the desert, Moshe also had to die in the desert. Why? Because he he got angry at the people, and they, and they complained to him that they didn't have water. So Moshe got angry, and he hit the rock. And because he hit the rock, God of Shabbos said, "Yana Shalom Antem," because he didn't believe in me properly. He didn't make a kiddush Hashem. So Moshe Rabbeinu was 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 not allowed to enter Eretz Yisrael, which is another tragedy. And then after. Parshas Chukas, so then you come to Parshas Balak. And Balak, now it's not just that the people are, are, are that, that the people are complainers and the people are upset, but in Balak, Bilam tries to curse the Jewish people, he's unsuccessful, so he comes up with a new plan, and that is to destroy the moral integrity of Kal Yisrael. And he, and he, and, and, and he, and he, he has the, 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 the Benos Moab, the daughters of Moab, Consorting with the Jewish men, and then and, and, and debauchery, and and, and worshiping Avodah Zara, and then Zimri, the head of one of the tribes, he goes he goes ahead and he takes a non-Jewish uh, Jewish woman in front of Moshe and Aaron, and Pinchas has to be a Kanoi and Moshe and Aaron are, are crying outside their tents. They don't even know what to do. The people are the the, the, the moral decadence that's over swept the Jew, the Jewish people, and they, they took a Pinchas to re, to. To, it was going to be a mage, another mage from Pinchas awarded that because Pinchas went and he and he killed uh, Zimri. So, but the question is, what happened? How come all of a sudden everything was going great and then everything went terrible? So that's the question that the person asked me. So I think the answer is because what you see from here is how contagious moods are. You know, we know all about things being contagious. We know germs are contagious. We just lived through the the, uh, the uh, COVID, and so many people died because they they contracted the disease. The, the germs are are, are are so dangerous, but there's an the, equally dangerous on a spiritual level is a person's mood. People have enormous influence on each other, and when people are positive, then everybody is positive. When people are in good moods, everybody's in a good mood. And when people are negative, then everybody is in a bad mood, and everybody is, is sees the, the worst, and, and and everybody the negativity. And people say we can't do it. That's what the Maragam said. Go now, we can't do it. It's impossible. And the people bought into that, and 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 it created one thing led to the next. All these things that I just described, they're all one incident led to the next. First, they complained about the traveling, the, the Minnesota. Then they complained about the food. That's the Asasu. Then they, the Moshe complained about his his role. Then Miriam and Aaron complained about Moshe. Then the Maragam complained about Eretz Yisrael. And then the, uh, the, the and, and then the uh, the the, the um, after the Maragam came Korach and Korach staged a rebellion against Moshe. He complained about Moshe and Aaron's nepotism. And then Moshe and, and, and Aaron we got angry. And and then they and then that led to spirit to, to, to moral decadence. All this was one thing led to the next because when 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 there's a, a, a spirit of negativity, one person affects the other. And and it, what it shows is how much power a human being has. On the one hand a person you, you could change you could walk into a room where everybody's angry and everybody's upset. And if you know how to handle it and you know how to say something positive and something nice, or you even dealing with an individual, you got somebody that's angry at you. But if you say something nice to the person, you could turn the person around in, in a moment. The Umar says that there were these two bat khanim, that the two, two gestures that would cheer people up. People would be depressed and they, and they, and they would, they would say something light. They would tell them a, a joke and, and that would change the, the atmosphere. But, but you see that on the one hand, Positivism leads to positivism, 
but negativity leads to more negative. It's just as contagious as COVID. And what it teaches is that we all have a tremendous responsibility, have an achrayas, because how we behave affects other people. It's not just ourselves. It's, it, 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 and, and, and every community has, a, has an environment. I, I have to say, Baruch Hashem, we have, people will tell me all the time, they come to, to, to our neighborhood, to the Highland Park in Edison. They say, it's a wonderful neighborhood. It's so welcoming. And, so, and people are so warm. That's so wonderful. It's so beautiful. And, and, and that's because the, we, we set a certain tone and the, and the tone keeps on promoting itself because when positivity leads to more positivity and, when, and people are in good spirits and people are warm and people are welcoming it, 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 people are influenced by that. But if you have people that are, that are kvetches and people that complain and people will see the bad, that influences other people as well. And that's, we all have a tremendous achrayas. We have to realize that on the one hand, we, 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 what we do, every, you know, people think what I do is just my own business. It's not true. Everything that we do influences others. And it's not only religious behavior, but it's, it's even this, the way we are. It's our mood. Ram says when a person comes home, he's not allowed to be in a bad mood because when you're in a bad mood, it influences other people in, in the household. So the negativity it, and depression influences other people. And that's, so we, we have to be cognizant of that. And, and, and we, we don't have the, the right to be negative because, and, and, and when we speak Lashonara, we, we influence the, 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 the moral character of the community and the, and the mood and the atmosphere. And when we're positive, so that leads to the Haloscha, that leads to people elevating themselves and moving in a positive direction. So there's a tremendous achrayas that we carry. We have, we, we, we think that we're, we're not so important. It's not true. Every person is important. Every person helps create the environment of the community. And, 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 and we have this, a, a responsibility to make sure that the environment we create is one of the of going up, becoming elevated. And, and in that way, we can have a, a, a tremendously positive impact. Thank you for listening. And I wish everybody a wonderful, I don't know if you'll hear this before Shabbos, Either if you do, have a good Shabbos or else after Shabbos, have a wonderful week. Thank you. Bye.